Lang Chain, what in the world is it? We're going to talk about what it is and how to get started, even if you don't know how to code. So first of all, it is a way to be able to work with large language models. You've heard a lot about this if you've used ChatGPT or AutoGPT. So it's a way to do this. But what makes this different is it allows you to get more granular or deeper into a subject. Say, for instance, you can use ChatGPT to answer general questions, right? But maybe there are very specific things you need to know about the law or medicine or a very specific industry. That's where Langchain comes in. It allows you to train the model on a lot of different information and make it the way that you want it to be. If you take a look at the documentation and look at use cases, you can do a ton of different things with this, but there's one that stands out and that is having a personal assistant. It allows the personal assistant, so you can create it, the personal assistant uh, can take actions, remember, remember interactions, and have knowledge about your data. So that's really important because if you're using ChatGPT or others, it's gonna be limited, but you can actually train the, the model on your information. So the more information you have or the larger database that it can scan through, the more specific it's gonna be and the better it's gonna be used for you personally. So this is a huge thing. Um, this also allows you to query or go through different databases, understand. Uh, it allows it to read it more effectively and also be able to give you more data back. There are tons of other things and you can see it in the documentation. I'll link it down below. But that's the basics of LangChain. And what is really important is it's free, right? So you can start using this. And if you know how to use Python, you can start doing this. But now there's a way to do this if you're not familiar how to code or how to use Python. Now you can actually use chat GPT or other platforms to query or basically build out the different code that you'll need to use Python. But you could also just use Flowwise as well because this allows you to build out um, your, your language models uh, the apps you want very easily, all visually. So it allows you to map out exactly what you want and um, have a prompt template to use this. If you want to take a look at this, by the way, Paul No Code, check out his YouTube channel. We, we had a whole discussion about this last week and he was talking about this. There's going to be a link down below to check out his YouTube channel and check out these links as well. So this is going to really allow you to start building out your own um, personal assistant or allow you to start understanding certain documentation. Maybe you're, you're reading tons of legal documents and you just don't know what it means. You could actually have this tell you what the documents telling, uh, you know, what it's saying at a fifth grade level, seventh grade level, whatever you want. But those are just some examples. You can do tons of things, uh, using, uh, Langchain. If you have used this in the past, let me know in the comment section down below. If you are just discovering this, you've never heard about this before, let me know in the comments as well. And if you like to know more cutting edge things like this, let me know. We'll be putting out more videos like this every single week.